Hi, I'm John Rose, the developer of FluxMonkey Reloaded. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of my sample uh, continuous integration project that will help you get your FluxMonkey tests uh, hooked into a, your continuous integration environment. So, I'm going to give you a quick review of our Twitter client example and the test nodes that we have. So, let's run our tests. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, you probably want to check out some of the earlier videos in this series. But he ran through and he succeeded and did a number of validations. So we've got a decent little test suite. Um, and then we can convert that test suite into flex unit tests uh, from the flex monkey menu. Real quickly, I want to show you that they go to the output source directory. So on your project properties, that's where you tell it where to go. So we're going to have ours go into the Twitter client CI projects test source directory. So now let's go over here and we'll tell it to or file generate flex unit tests and it says it finished so we can close this guy down and we can come over to our project and let's see let's refresh that directory and we can drill down and take a look just to see that they're there. Um, typically, you don't need to do anything with these. Um, they should work out of the box. Um, if you do modify them, there's no round trip. So every generation we do for you will just overwrite whatever's there. Uh, they do look like what you, if you've seen flex unit tests, they look very much like what you would expect, you know, the before and test metadata and those things. Uh, but let's jump into our build script since that's the most interesting part. Um, it has... Uh, a lot of config here, but let's get down to the meat of it. Um, here we go. The compile target. So in a typical flex unit continuous integration setup, you're not really building your whole app. Um, tests run individually, thus the term unit. Since we're really doing functional testing with unit tests, we want to build the app with those tests in. And I'll highlight a couple things here. Uh, I'm compiling in, doing an includes directive on our FlexMonkey test controller. So that tells it what tests to run and get, kicks everything off. And this tells it whether or not to run. So you can flip this Boolean back and forth to, to turn that on and off. And then we tell him where our snapshots are so that he can load up any snapshots for bitmap verifies. We also compile in a few other things. Of course, our FlexMonkey SWIC and then the Flex Unit SWICs. Uh, so those... <clears throat> Those obviously bring in flex unit. They gave us a CI listener and an air listener since this is a air project we're dealing with. And then of course the automation libraries, which Flex Monkey uses to do some of the work. So once we're compiled, we have a really simple target called execute tests. And we're using the flex unit ant task for this. And he's gonna run our app and wait for results. And then we see the J unit target below there, the report target which will give us some nice reports out. So let's add our build file. So now we can run this guy. We'll go ahead and do our default target. We'll make the console bigger here. He should launch the app for us. And go ahead and do our different sets of commands to click through the app and do our validations. So let's see. Okay, does the search, we finished, and we can see there that everything was successful, built successful, so up and running. So uh, in your, for your needs, I would suggest grabbing this sample project and uh, modifying it for your custom environment, but that should give you a fairly complete example of using FlexMonkey tests within your continuous integration environment. Uh, you can find the sample at GorillaJohn.com at my blog. Thanks.